We all have things that are important to us. Things we want to keep safe. Things that are a part of who we are. And when something threatens these things, the question becomes, have you done everything in your power to protect them? At Tecantra, we ask ourselves that question every day. Congratulations, and thank you for owning one of the most sophisticated trailer braking systems available today. Whether you tow for work or play, you can depend on Tecantra to enhance your towing experience by working to make sure both your tow vehicle and the trailer it's pulling slow down and stop at the same time. Over the next several minutes, we will show you some important setup steps to be sure you have the smoothest braking experience possible. If this is your first installation, please listen for a moment to some important tips. Performance braking controls are directional. This means that the back of the control must be positioned toward the front of the vehicle or in the direction of travel. Locate the mounting position on the face of the dash in the most convenient position possible and within easy reach. Many brake controls have a primary operating range, nose up or nose down. Refer to your installation instructions for the range that applies to your control. Most newer vehicles have a brake control vehicle plug-in point located in the primary electrical harness under the dash. Use the vehicle-specific wiring harness sometimes provided by the automobile manufacturer or available separately from your brake control supplier to connect the brake control wiring then plug it in under the dash. If your vehicle is older or does not provide a plug-in point use the generic wiring instructions provided with the brake control or see your dealer for installation details. Because every trailer is different, your brake control needs to learn the weight of the trailer and condition of the trailer brakes. This is required to determine the optimum power necessary during an emergency stop without trailer wheel lockup. Once you've connected the wire harness and mounted your brake control, connect the trailer to the tow vehicle, which will be indicated by a dot C on the display. Squeeze the manual override control and set the power to 6.0. Then, tow the trailer to a dry level surface. Take the vehicle up to 25 miles per hour and reactivate the manual override. If the trailer wheels lock up, slightly reduce power. If the wheels turn freely, increase power to a point just before wheel lockup. It's that easy. For information to fine tune your system for optimal performance, Check your owner's guide for details. Because you own one of the most advanced braking systems available today, very little is involved in preparing for your trip. The reason is because your brake control establishes its position, then adjusts itself for optimum performance on varying terrain more than 500 times per second. Your brake control uses a patented boost system to allow you to change the feel of each braking event. To operate this feature, depress the blue button several times until dot C appears in the display window. This is the least aggressive setting of the boost options and should create a condition where you can barely feel the trailer braking. For more aggressive braking, Touch the button twice to show B.1 in the display. This setting makes the sensor more sensitive to motion and delivers current to the trailer brakes slightly ahead of the tow vehicle's braking system. 
two touches more reveals B.2 in the display and an even more aggressive braking feel. Two more depressions of the boost button takes you to B.3. This setting will be required when the trailer being pulled is significantly heavier than the tow vehicle. Never pull a trailer that exceeds the vehicle manufacturer's recommended gross combined weight rating. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.